On this episode of Mahjong Nash and Such, I'm going to make Mongolian meatballs. This recipe is dedicated to Josephine. So for Mongolian meatballs, we need a pound of ground beef, and I have two pounds here. That's the size my husband bought, so that's what I'm gonna use. Then I have a pound of country sausage, and then we have three quarters of a cup of panko breadcrumb, a cup of chopped green onion. We have two tablespoons of soy sauce, a tablespoon of minced garlic, a tablespoon of red wine vinegar, and two eggs, and then of course salt and pepper. So we're gonna combine all these and form the, these into balls, and then we will bake them in a 375 degree oven for 15 to 20 minutes. So let's get mixing. I'll speed this up, because it's gonna take a little while. I think I'll mix in these. I am just going to do a teeny bit of salt because we've already got so much soy sauce. That's it, very light. You could even omit it. Okay, so I'll mix this in real quick. I'm going to put in the onions and the breadcrumbs. Bunula. Now for the icky part. I'm gonna mix this and come back when it's all done. Okay, let's scoop. This is gonna take a little while, so I will speed it up. I love these scoopers. I think I am going to form them though because I don't want them to have a flat bottom. So I'm just gonna scoop these and then I'll roll each one just to kind of make them pretty. I mean, you don't have to form them if you don't want to, but if you want them to be uniform, then I would go ahead and roll them in your hand. So I'm just gonna scoop to make sure that they're all about the same size, and then I'll roll them. Because they're really not so pretty to look at at the moment. I think I'll get out another pan. Mm. 
more scooping. I think these are going to be the perfect one bite. Now, they're not really nosh per se, because there's pork in here, but nosh is a snack, right? That's a lot of meatballs. I think I probably could freeze some of these. If this is too much, just half the recipe. Kind of worked out perfectly look at that okay now it's time to get dirty all right i'm going to leave my hands wet a little bit and i'm going to roll these up just to get a really nice shape And this is going to take a bit, so I will speed it up. Okay, here they are, meatballs. I think they look pretty good. So I'm gonna put both of these in the oven and halfway through, I'm gonna switch them on the rack. So maybe give them um, a good shake just so we don't get any burning. So in they go, 375 degree oven. I think I'll go 10 minutes, switch them, shake them and then maybe go another five minutes and then check them, maybe another 10 minutes. And then I will write in the instructions how long I actually ended up cooking them. In they go. I'm gonna clean this up and then we're gonna make the sauce. 
while that's cooking. My mom taught me to clean as you go. So now I have all those dishes clean. They just have to dry so we can make the sauce. And then maybe after those will be dry. So let me go over the sauce with you. We're not going to need this. Soy sauce has a lot of salt. So go light on the salt or you'll be sorry. Trust me. Okay. Now, let me see sauce we have i better get my instructions i need to read from a list for the ingredients for the sauce because there are a lot of ingredients all right here we go we have a teaspoon of sesame oil go light on this it's very powerful it smells really good but you can overdo it and ruin your dish so then we have a tablespoon of minced garlic in here, two tablespoons of hoisin sauce, and one tablespoon of oyster sauce. Then we have one half a cup of soy sauce. Then we have two thirds cup of water, a half a cup of brown sugar. And I think that's it. Yes. You're supposed to put uh, ginger in here, but I don't like ginger, so I omit it. You can put it in if you want to, and that would be a half a teaspoon of ginger. So I am, and you mix all this together in a saucepan until it thickens. You just let it simmer until those meatballs are done, and um, that's all it takes. So let's see here. You just want to make sure that you stand by because it can burn. So don't let it burn. Let's get to cooking. So I have my pan warming. I'm going to go ahead and put the sauce, the um, hoisin sauce, oyster sauce, and garlic in there. And the sesame oil. So we'll just let this simmer for a little while. Stirring occasionally so as not to burn. So I flipped the pans and then gave them a shake. They're looking good, but they're not done yet. That was after 10 minutes. I put it on for another five minutes. The instructions say to cook, th cook them for about 10 to 12 minutes or until they're done. So it just may depend on your oven. So 10 to 15 minutes probably will do the job. And then we're going to take them off the pan and into the sauce and let them glaze those meatballs. And then we'll put them in a bowl and have a taste. Oh, garnish. I have some scallions chopped and some sesame seeds. That will look very nice. And then I have some toothpicks. You won't even need napkins. Nice, clean, one bite snack. I guess I better stir that sauce or it'll burn. Don't let it burn.
I'm kind of thinking maybe I should pull out a meatball and test it. Let's do. Well, I'd say that's done. Can you see? So I'm going to go ahead and pull them out. Uh oh. The sauce is not as thick as I'd like it to be, so I'm going to create a quick slurry of cornstarch and water and a little bit of soy sauce to thicken that up. So I think I'm just going to do equal parts water and soy sauce. So I'll do two ounces of water and two ounces of soy sauce. And you want to use cold water. Just a little slurry. Okay, I'm just going to put one tablespoon of cornstarch in. And just mix it up so there's no chunks. And now I'm just going to pour this in the sauce. Here we go. Now it's thickening up. That's what I call a sauce. I suppose there's a difference between a sauce and a glaze. This is more like a sauce. Or is it the other way around? I don't know. Okay, I would say that's done at this point. See? All right. I think I'll use this big bowl and mix it all together in this big bowl. Here we go with the sauce. I think that cornstarch really is going to help. So now we'll just give it a toss. It smells really good. It smells like Asian meatballs. Okay, now. I'm going to get out a serving bowl and then we'll put on the garnish and we'll have a taste. Let's see. I usually make a mess. Let's see if I can get away with no mess. Oh, I don't know. Oh my goodness. I lost one. Okay, Riley is, oh, there goes another one. Right, oh, and another one. Oh my goodness. Okay, so Riley's gonna get three meatballs. That's my little dog. What a mess. Oh.
Okay. I guess it could have been worse. Okay, this is why I like to clean as I go because now look at this. This sink is clean and drying and this sink is full again. That's okay, it's not much. All right, so now, look at those. How does that look, is that nice? I think I'll just sprinkle some seeds. And then we'll sprinkle on some onions. Okay, here we go. How's that look? I think they look pretty tasty and they smell really good. So let's have a little taste. I think I will just take one of these on the side. Here we go. We'll taste this one. It smells really good. I hope it's not too hot. You know, I hate that when you burn the roof of your mouth. Let's see what happens. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to make sure it was done inside. I know it is. It's really good. Very tasty. Not too salty. It's close though. If I had known that I might need a slurry, I probably would have pulled back on the soy sauce. So I'll modify the recipe to allow for that. Give this recipe a try. I think it's a keeper. It's a great one biter. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell when you do so you don't miss out on any opportunities to learn a new recipe for your next Mahjong event. Between now and the next episode of Mahjong Nash and Such, may all your picks be keepers.